So it has been a while since I filmed my last video, as you can probably tell from the background. If you've been around for a while, you may remember this all used to look very, very different. <laughs> and believe it or not, this actually only took about two weeks to do, but the whole not being able to use a bathroom thing for two weeks really kind of messed me about, especially when I went back to work. It was just so stressful and I haven't had a chance to sit down and film until now so sorry for being gone but I'm back today and I have something new so since kind of February around the Valentine's time um, I very recently started getting into Lush products I filmed my first ever Lush haul I think one of my last it may have been my last video that was ever posted on this channel that was honestly the first time I'd ever gone to Lush and bought like more than one thing like I've been before and got like one bath bomb or Actually, I think that may have been the only thing I'd ever bought from Lush before. Anyway, <laughs> but since then, I started using some of those products and I became obsessed. I went out and bought so much stuff and this has been, like, we're in March now when I'm filming this and this has been since filming that last video, so it's probably since about the start of February and we're kind of two weeks into March now, something like that. Some of these orders have been online, some of them have been in store, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been on a bit of a shopping spree, so I've got quite a lot of stuff to show to you guys. To kind of avoid making this video super, super long, I kind of split it into two groups. So I have all of my bath products, like my bubble bars and my bath bombs and my bath oils. All of those are gonna be in a separate video. It may be up by the time that this is posted. If it is, it will be in the description box. You can go and check that out and see how I store them. Filming in the bathroom today because I'm doing a video on everything that I keep in the bathroom. So shower gel, skincare products, all that jazz. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with facial care and skincare. So the first thing I have to show you is this tea tree water. toner from Lush and I needed a new facial toner because mine was running out and I wanted something that had tea tree in it because I've been ill pretty recently. I just had a really bad cold. It was nothing serious but you know you just feel like pity party for one. <laughs> My skin started breaking out really badly and I wanted to use a lot more tea tree because that is something that helps treat my breakouts without irritating my skin very much. So I picked this up in store. Um, I don't Mm, yeah, I don't like the smell of this. I love the smell of tea tree. This, this does not smell like all of those ones that I know. It's, it's kind of, it's a very earthy smell. Um, it's not too strong, but it's very plant-based and earthy. It's not got any sweetness or, um, like, um, not minty, but that kind of fresh, smell that a lot of tea tree products have. I usually whenever I use a toner I use it on my face, my neck and my chest and then the top of my back because I used to get acne there. Um, I don't anymore but this just kind of helps prevent it from coming back. So the first two times I think I used this I did use it on my face, my neck, my chest, my back um, and then literally in about two days I noticed my chest was red, it was irritated, it was like really like burning, itchy and it was this, this is the only thing that I changed in them two days and it just came out of nowhere. And honestly, I just used this on my face for a few days and my chest cleared up completely fine. So it was this that was kind of giving me a reaction. So I would advise a little bit of caution if you are somebody who is very, very sensitive. Don't go straight for the big bottle like I did. Go for some, they sell a smaller one or I don't know. I don't know if they do samples of toners, but I don't know. If you're sensitive like that, then just a word of caution with this. Um, but for my face, my skin is pretty much, I think I have one blemish at the moment and it's like right in my hairline. So my face is completely clear right now, which is an amazing feeling, I can tell you. And I think this is a big part that I have to thank for that. Uh, I recently changed my cleanser. This is the Angels on Bare Skin Cleanser. This I saw, um, oh, I really like that smell. I know some people don't like that smell, but I just really like it. It's just so nice. It is weird looking. Um, I'll show you guys a close up. it's a facial cleanser but it is absolutely an exfoliator it has so many like scrubby bits in there that you scrub onto your face and I apply my makeup after using this it goes on so smoothly it gets rid of any dry skin that I have um, it really does help smooth out my skin and I really do love this it doesn't irritate me in any way I don't use it around my eyes do not use this around your eyes this has got some scrubby bits in you don't want to get those in your eyes 
And this is pretty much my go-to every single morning. And unless I'm having a particularly bad skin day, then I'll usually go to my tea tree products. But as an everyday exfoliator, cleanser, this is gentle enough on my skin. Moisturizers. Now I have two here to show you. The first one is not actually in a tub. I've just, I used to have a face mask in this and then I just recycled it because I ordered this one online so it didn't come in like a bag or anything. Um, this is the Full of Grey Serum Bar. I will tell you guys straight up, I did not like this from the moment that I got it. Um, I was really excited to use it. I saw loads of good reviews on it and I thought, yes, I need a new moisturizer. I want to change over to Lush because I honestly never found another moisturizer that suited my skin and I was kind of hoping Lush would be like my saviour for moisturizers so this was the one that I saw um, really good reviews on and so I wanted to go and try it but honestly it just really doesn't suit me. This is really oily feeling and quite greasy and thick. If you are someone with very dry skin or you're using like topical creams for whatever skin condition, I absolutely recommend this. I, I feel like this would be really good over skin conditions such as eczema or psoriasis. I can see this being really calming and it is quite thick when it goes on, so definitely if you need that extra moisture. Um, so then I went to Lush and I got a sample of this to start with. This is the Cosmetic Lab Moisturiser. Originally, I tried the sample and I was obsessed. I knew from the moment I got that sample, I was buying the full size thing as soon as I got paid. So I absolutely love this so much and it smells like oranges. It's got a very sweet orange scent to it and I love like orange blossom, cherry blossom, those kind of scents. I just absolutely love them and um, unfortunately, I was an idiot with this and I finally, literally the day that I got my full size tub, I did like um blackhead removal thingy on my nose and it's a three-step system and the last step you use is like an oil and I still had that oil on my fingertips when I went to use my moisturizer for the first time and now I don't know what that serum smelled like but it made this kind of smell like iodine or iodine I'm not sure how to pronounce that right but usually this smells amazing and I'm very annoyed at myself for like putting a foreign product into this and now it smells different and um, still works perfectly fine it's not too heavy but it is very it just made my skin feel so soft like I've never had a moisturizer that's made my skin feel that soft to the touch I mean I don't like to touch my face very much but when I did it was like wow like it wasn't greasy at all it was just smooth and just it was so nice I use this twice a day and I definitely recommend it face mask this is the mask of magnanimity that this is in a ginormous tub by the way. I love having face masks that you can have in a squeezy tube or in a tub when you can get all of the product out and you can get multiple uses out of it. I got this as a deep cleansing mask from Lush. It smells like mint, it smells like chewing gum, like spearmint kind of scents. I really like this. I love minty scents. Um, I did find that when I used it for the first time that it made my skin feel like really cold. It was an intense feeling, I'm not gonna lie, but this is meant to be a very deep cleansing mask, a very active mask, so you're definitely going to feel it on your skin. What I usually do when I take off a face mask is I will wash it up with warm water and then put my face in cold water to close up all my pores and I did that after using this. Oh my god, don't do it! <laughs> it's probably actually good for your skin, but like, just be warned if you are somebody who does that after using a face mask. It was like, it just put straight ice on my face. My skin was so like cold and it was crazy but this honestly I feel like has helped clear up my skin. Like I said I was ill and I had a breakout so I use this maybe twice a week something like that. I love using face masks as part of my routine anyway. Yeah. Uh, next we're kind of moving on to body products now. I have the Karma Cream body lotion. I went into Lush specifically to get samples, just samples, I wasn't going in to buy anything. I went in to get a sample of a hand lotion and a sample of a foot lotion because those are the two things that I wanted next. And so I went in and I was trying all of the hand lotions like on different different parts of my hand, like I had one over here, one in the middle, one at the side, and this one honestly felt like the least greasy. It was a lighter one and um, when I smelled it, it had a pleasant scent to it. It was the only one that I could really smell in the store. But to be honest, I should have just stuck to what I went in for and should have just got a sample because I brought this massive tub and I sniffed it. 
when I got back and I covered my hands in it and then honestly for that day I felt like I smelled like a granny like that stereotypical granny perfume that's what I feel like this is ironically um, I did speak to a guy in the store you know how people at Lush are they're like hey can I help let me tell you everything about this product and where it came from it's like hey um, and he told me that they have the um, Karma perfume is the scent that this is based off and he actually sprayed the perfume for me like onto a little tester strip and let me smell it and the perfume was so good and that was kind of what sold me on this and then I got it back and it just no I, I really don't like this to be perfectly honest with you guys I might end up giving this away or I don't know I hate wasting things and I don't want to waste this um, I'm gonna be keeping the tub probably this is definitely something that when you put it on you can smell it on your skin for the rest of the day as I found but <laughs> If that's something that you like then go ahead and try this but try a sample before you buy the whole tub because this tub is like 14 pounds and like I'm probably not gonna get much use out of this I did pick up some samples when I went into Lush and I'm gonna show those to you now the foot lotion that I got a sample of I actually spoke to a woman in there and I asked her which foot lotion she would recommend and she recommended the softy foot lotion which is what this is the pens kind of run out so I don't think you guys um, would really see that if I held it up but okay I didn't like the smell of it in the store I'm not gonna lie but when I brought it back and I used it on my skin this smells to me like when you walk into Lush this is the smell that I smell the most I think it's the lavender in it and then I've used it on my feet a few times and they feel so soft I actually think I'm gonna buy the full bottle of this when the sample runs out and I'm also gonna use it as a hand lotion because it just works so well and I love this before my full size moisturizer turned up in the post because I, again I ordered it online I was running out of the little sample that I had so I went into Lush kind of to get another sample of the cosmetic lad they didn't give it to me and um, they recommended that I try the vanishing cream which I didn't really argue with them to be honest I was like hey it's free stuff so <laughs> so I tried this I honestly don't like the smell of this it's a lovely moisturizer and honestly this goes really well on my skin and it is very moisturizing I didn't notice it made a huge difference with the redness in my skin um, no more than the cosmetic lab did but I, it was something good to try I don't know if I'll get the use out of the rest of this but I will definitely probably be trying to use the tub for something else or I'll be giving it back to Lush um, I don't like to waste like plastic tubs or things like that as I found out from the serum bar they come in pretty handy uh, speaking of handy um, the last sample I got was of the Handy Guru Goo hand butter lotion thing. Um, weirdly enough, I didn't actually pick this up myself. I went in to buy, I think, some bath bombs or a bowl bar. I went in to buy something and then I got to the cash out and she was like, okay, so that's your bath bomb and your whatever the other thing was and your hand cream in the bag. And I was like, I didn't pick up a hand cream. And she was like, oh. Oh well, you can have it, it's fine. I was like, okay, thanks, free stuff. I did use the Handy Guru Goo and this is kind of what prompted me to get an actual um, hand lotion because I started trying this out and I liked having like something to put on my hands of a night. Honestly, I do like the smell of this. I, just, I don't know how to describe that smell, I'm sorry, but I do really like it. The consistency, it's very thick. I have to kind of like scrape it out with my thumbnail to get it out. It's quite buttery and thick. Next, I bought the Dirty Shaving Cream. I read about this online before I bought it and I think I did order this online. I wanted a new shaving cream and I was just getting into Lush products. Shaving honestly is very bad for my skin, it has never agreed with my skin. I always get razor burn and very like irritated patches of skin and it's just not good. The regrowth obviously when you shave is, it can be quite uncomfortable and itchy and my ultimate goal was to stop shaving altogether. I'm kind of, I was kind of building myself up to going and getting waxed for the first time, but I was like, very scary, not sure if I'm gonna be brave enough to do that. So I bought this to kind of help, hopefully help my skin while I am still shaving. And honestly, I don't really like this. I mean, I read about all the ingredients online and I really liked what was in it. And I know they sell another strawberry shaving thing, I think it's called the fluff or something like that and honestly any reviews I've seen of anyone who's tried both of these they all seem to prefer the fluff and I can see why to be honest this is very thick and I found that when I was using this with my razor it wasn't getting the hair against the skin like I was still kind of stubbly on my legs like it wasn't a very close shave if you know what I mean and because this was just so thick it was just clogging up my razor and I don't know I don't like this to shave with but 
on that whole note of not wasting products, I love using this after I've shaved. Like when I'm still in the bath, after I've shaved my legs using like my normal products, I will cover my legs in this and then just leave it for a few minutes or like a few moments and then wash it off and it helps like soothe my skin after shaving and helps like calm it down. So I do really like this, I'm probably not going to buy it again, but I'm going to try and use up this whole tub using it that way. So now I'm going to move on to something that I wanted to get for a very long time. Um, first off the tin, um, Lush sell these little tins and they are for massage bars. Oh my god, I love that smell so much. I am so sorry, this does not look like what I, it did when I bought it. It is still bright pink, but it did have like little love heart shapes on it, but... Oh, it's the smell of this that is just amazing. Um, this is part of the Valentine's Day um, kitchen menu on Lush. So it was a limited edition, I don't think you can buy it now or I would have bought like three of these because they are amazing. I, I can't remember what this is called and I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna like find out after I film this video and I'll put it like here somewhere so you guys can like know what this thing is because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But this thing is amazing and the smell of this, oh my god, just... I love massage, it is honestly like my most favourite thing in the entire world and it is so beneficial to you physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, so many ways, it is just amazing and I really wanted something like a massage bar, I just loved that Lush encouraged that and they see, you know, the benefits of massage and they sell products specifically for that. Like, I just like places that do that when they have a section that's just like, just about massage. I just, I just really love it. It's something that means a lot to me and uh, this is probably one of my most favorite products out of everything that I've bought from Lush in the last two months. Okay, so moving on to shower stuff. So I'm gonna start with what I bought for myself, which was Snow Fairy, the shower gel. I smelt this in store. I didn't read about it online or anything. This is one of the first things that I bought when I went and bought stuff from Lush. And honestly, to me, when I smelt this in the store, it smelled like bubble gum. It actually, the scent of Snow Fairy is more candy floss, but when I first smelt it, it smelled like bubble gum and sweets. I absolutely love this. And I honestly wish I'd have bought like the full, big, massive size, like, bruiser size of this product because I love it so much. Ah, oh, it just smells so good. This is what I use every single time that I have a shower and as you guys can see, we have a brand new shower. It is amazing. Next time I'm getting like the big broad bruiser bottle of this stuff. Um, the last two shower products I have to show you, I actually bought for my boyfriend because he kept using this. He kept using my Snow Fairy. Anytime he would stay over and have a shower, he'd use like my products and I'd be like, why do you smell like candy floss? So I'm not gonna lie, I got to a point where I was just like, just stop using my stuff. It's not like I can just go out and buy another one of these when it runs out. Oh no, I have to wait a whole year until they start selling this again. And that stresses me out. So no, this is my baby. You don't touch it. You don't need to smell like a fairy. I do. So I bought him some of his own stuff from Lush. Um, daddy -O is the shampoo that I got. It's a purple blue shampoo for blonde hair. I didn't get it for that reason. Um, I actually bought this just for the smell of it. I really like the smell of it. It does smell like it's got that violet smell in it and some people say that it smells exactly like Parma violets, like the sweets. I definitely can smell that. I used this on my hair once or twice, I think. I don't like using it on mine, it just doesn't suit my hair for some reason. But it seems to suit him fine, so I got him that to use. And then the second thing that I got him is actually a shower product. This is the Black Pearl Shower Gel. reasons I got this. One, it sounded cool as hell. I read about it online and I really wanted it. And two, because literally it was so perfect. Like the day that this turned up, my boyfriend was getting um, the second tattoo on his arm and it is actually a pirate ship that he has tattooed. And like, this was just perfect. It literally turned up at my house the morning that he, like, I opened the box. He was already at the tattooist um, getting his tattoo. And I was just like, this is perfect. You were meant to have this. It is a very nice smell. It's got like chamomile and some other stuff in it. No shit. But <laughs> it says, lather on in the shower or bath and scrub your decks clean. <laughs> I got really excited about the shower gel, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This was 
the kitchen product, so I'm sorry. I don't think you can just buy it in stores or online anymore. But if you ever see this on kitchen, I absolutely recommend it. It is so nice and it is, I find it more of a masculine scent. It's not sweet, it's not sweet at all, like even with the Daddio, it's kind of, I just think it's a slightly more masculine scent, but it still has that sweetness of the violets in it. This one does not, but honestly, it smells so good, like. Okay, and the last thing that I have to show you guys, oh, it smells so good, I love this smell, this is like my baby. Um, actually a bar of soap. Now, literally the only thing I use solid soap for is cleaning my beauty blender. I clean it every single day after I do my makeup. I needed a new soap because the one that I had was just like some pound shop stuff and it was not good. And I was already buying some stuff from Lush, I think this was online that I ordered this. I don't know, I just, I liked the look of this and I was thinking like, do I get it, do I not? Because this is like three pounds something for 100 grams and like, I know I can just go and get a bar of soap from the pound shop. And like, when I only use it for one thing, I was kind of put off spending that little bit extra money. Um, but the next time I walked past Lush, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna have a look at this, and I smelt it in the store. Oh my god, I loved it. So, <laughs> this is a bubblegum scent, and it smells so good, like, this has had nothing but good reviews in my home since I brought this back. It is so nice, and honestly, it does clean my beauty blender pretty well. I didn't think it did the first time that I used it, but I think I just kind of had to get um, used to using it. It kind of takes a little bit more scrubbing than say like the Beauty Blender Cleansing Solid. That is honestly the best thing I've used to clean my Beauty Blender. But I can't be affording to pay like £12 for a little piece of soap every time. So £3 is much better for me. I think I've actually already ordered another bar of this just to kind of stock up because it's kind of going like a bit of a weird shape now. It's like kind of dippy. Um, you can tell which side I use most. <laughs> my hands smell nice. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to see all of the bath products like bubble bars, bath bombs, bath oils, um, I'll link that video in the description box so you can go and have a look at that. But I felt that this was already going to be pretty long, so um, if you're still watching all the way to the end, then thank you very much. Um, if you want to see more Lush videos from me, thumbs this one up and let me know in the comments exactly what you guys want to see. I have a few planned, but I'm always open to suggestions and if there's anything that you guys really want to see, then let me know and I'll try and make it happen. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all having a really great day and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye!